Hi, this is Alex Navas with alexnavas.com. Today's video is all about collecting recurring payments from your customers and clients. Now, whether you have a coaching business or you have a service-based business, there's many times where you wanna charge your client on a consistent basis, possibly every few weeks or every week, every couple days. You may wanna set up monthly payments if they're paying you on a monthly basis for a certain period of time. Or if you have annual renewals, you can set that up right in PayPal and that way you can skip getting a merchant account and do it all from PayPal. I'm logged into my PayPal account. And what we wanna do is we wanna start collecting payments on our website. So they have a number of different options to do that, but we're gonna select the easiest option to set up, which is to create a button. Now, you may not wanna use the button. You may wanna email the link directly and I'll show you exactly how to do that. But it, the setup is all the same. So. Under business setup, we're going to have these options. Now you might notice that this login page here is set up a little bit different than you may have. PayPal has a newer dashboard and that's what you see here. They have an older one and I can always request to get the older one back, but I happen to like this newer version of it. So you can upgrade to the new version or you can find similar features in the old version. Regardless of what version of the dashboard you have, each has a way to collect payments on a recurring basis. So that's what I'm gonna show you here. So the first thing we wanna do is we're gonna create a payment button. And again, you may or may not wanna use a payment button, but in this case, it doesn't matter. The setup process is exactly the same and I'll show you exactly how to do that. So we're gonna to go to option number one, create a payment button, and let's go to create a button. And here is gonna we're gonna enter the payment information. So what we wanna do, because again, the point of this video and the point of you doing this step is to set up recurring payments so that you, you charge once, your customer, your client sets up their payment information once, and then they're billed on a continual basis. And you decide how often they're gonna be billed. They're just answering that billing information once and it continues charging them until they cancel. So we're gonna go to the subscriptions. And here, let's pretend that this is a coaching program. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna type in the name of my company uh, and let's say this is what my offer is. It's called the Amplified Results Coaching. You know, we could set up something like monthly coaching. Now again, you're gonna set this up as how you want it. I'm in the US, so obviously the currency is gonna be in US. We're not gonna, we don't need a drop down. We don't need a drop down menu. We don't need additional information, but you'll see here that once we have this, the, auto, the button automatically says subscribe, although we're not gonna use that. So here, what we're gonna do is uh, it's a thousand dollars a month. That's how much the monthly coaching is. And we want the billing cycle to be every month. So they're gonna charge every month for six payments. So let's say this is a $6,000 program that'll be charged $1,000 for the next six months. They'll do this transaction once and then every 30 days they'll receive us an invoice saying that they just paid you $1,000 for that month. And after the, set, the sixth payment is processed, they'll no longer have any more charges. So what we're gonna do here is secure a merchant ID that way in the payment link, it doesn't show my email address, so I'm gonna leave that just as it is. Now, here's one of the things that I like to do. This is, you don't have to do this, but it's just one of the things that I like to do. Again, this is for service-based businesses. I go to step three, and in step three, it asks if I wanna collect a shipping address. Now, for my coaching program, or for this fictitious coaching program, we're not sending anything by mail. However, if I decide to in the next six months, I'd like to collect that information up front so then I don't have to email them at a later time and ask them to give me that information. So I always select yes here and that way I have that information. And then the next step that I do is these two here. Many people don't use this and what they do is once they receive a notification that there was a payment, then they manually send an email and saying, you know, here, go to this page now or whatever the case is. I like to set that up automatically. So when somebody joins, they pay, the next thing they do is they hit this, this page here. So it might be something like alexnavas.com forward slash success. And so what's gonna happen then is they go to my PayPal link, they paid the $1,000 and they set up their ongoing payment. So for six months, they'll be, they'll be billed $1,000. The moment that transaction goes through, PayPal waits about 10 seconds and then forwards them to this email address. Now this could be an email signup form so I capture their information. It can be a questionnaire if you want uh, if you want them to answer certain questions uh, to begin your coaching process or whatever your service process is. This is what's going to tell PayPal where to send them next. 
And then from there, I'm gonna create the button. It's pretty simple. Just only a couple things. Now you see here, here's the button code, but then they have this option. You can also email this. And when you click on email, it gives you the actual link. So while here has additional code because they include the button and the images and all that stuff, um, we don't want any of that. All we want is a link. So I can go here and then go to a new browser and, and you'll see what this looks like when I enter the link. I can email this link. I can use Bitly to shorten this link. I can forward it from my URL, but you can see here, here's my company, right? Here's what it is, Amplified Results Monthly Coaching. It tells them $1,000 for each month for six installments. They log in, they pay, we're good to go. This is where I wanna send them. So you can see we're not using a button. We're simply using the ability to create this, this page so that they're billed on a monthly basis. Hope this has been helpful. Stay tuned, make sure you subscribe to this channel, like us on social media at facebook.com forward slash Alex Navas Pro, or you can go to Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Alex Navas. Thank you very much. If you have any other questions regarding setting up recurring payments, let me know in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to help. Thanks a lot. Go to alexnavas.com and I'm there to serve you. Let's grow your business. Mm -hmm.